Welcome to the Open Dental webinar on setting up and tracking procedure code time units. In this webinar, we will cover setting up procedure codes and associating them to time units, setting up an insurance plan with time unit allowances, and where to find information about the total used and remaining time units. Some insurance plans may only cover a specific number of units for procedure code, such as scaling. We can set up Open Dental to calculate this information for you to make tracking those insurance benefits easier. First, make sure that each procedure code has the correct time units associated. We do that under Lists and Procedure Codes. In this example, we're going to look at our scaling codes. I want to ensure that each of my scaling codes have the correct time units associated. So I'm going to find my scaling code and double click on it. I'll make sure that my two unit scaling code has two time units associated at the bottom. This time unit box may or may not be pre-filled depending on your current version of Open Dental and the last time you updated procedure codes in Open Dental. If this box is not pre-filled for you, simply type in the number of the units and click OK. You'll need to do that for each procedure code that has a number of units associated with it. Next, we're going to set up a patient who has time unit limitations on their insurance plan. First, select the patient in Open Dental, go to their family module, and then their insurance plan. On the right-hand side is the benefit information grid. Double-click anywhere into that grid. Then, at the bottom, we're going to click Add. For this example, we're going to do seven units of scaling available for the patient. So I'm going to set my category to preventative because that's the category that the scaling procedure codes fall into. Please note that you cannot use a specific procedure code when setting up time units. It has to be within a category. Next, I'll click limitations. And on the right hand side, we'll put in the number of time units available, which in this case is seven and change this to the number of services. Lastly, I'll change my coverage level to individual. Next, we're going to chart some scaling units for this patient. So we'll go into their chart module and we'll go ahead and treatment plan. Just a couple scaling units. Next in the treatment plan, off to the right hand side is the INS REM button. This is your insurance remaining button and displays your time unit calculations. Nothing is going to show in the time unit window until you have set complete an item that you have set the limitation for. So because I have set no scaling procedures complete yet, nothing is going to show. However, if I went ahead and set one of these complete, when you check again, you'll notice that I've now used three units of scaling and that information does pop up. So once a procedure is set complete, then Open Dental will start to calculate those time units for you. So because in the insurance plan we had set up seven units of time, we have a seven unit quantity, three used, and four remaining. This information will not show in the treatment plan. You do have to click the Ins Remaining button to view remaining information. The other place this information can be viewed is in the account module. And in the upper right, click the INS REM button. And you'll see that same information. If you have special cases with your time units, please feel free to give Open Dental a call as there are some workarounds to make them work. For example, time units does not play nicely with dual insurance, so if you have two insurances calculating, please give us a call. Or if you have two different types of procedure codes that fall into the same category, we can set those up for you, but it does take a little bit of extra work. So if you have those special cases or you find that time units are not calculating the way that you would expect, please feel free to reach out to Open Dental Support. Thank you for viewing today's Canadian webinar. If you have any further questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or visit our web manual at opendental.com. To stay up to date on the latest training videos, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks!